universe is far more wondrous than anything we can imagine. These ingredients become part of gas clouds that advance, collapse, form, and destruction. Do you, do you think Pluto deserves to be a planet? I am warning you in advance. You want to go there. I want to go there. You want to go Let's there. Let's go there. Do you understand you and the me. consequences of going there? No, no, Pluto had it coming. Pluto never deserved planet status from day one. Jupiter has a blemish in its, in its weather system that's bigger than Earth. If you just read how you die by falling in a black hole, it is... If you had to pick a way, if I, if, I had, if I could pick a way, that's how I'm going. We came up with what it is to be intelligent, and then we passed that test. So we now say, let's find other intelligent species in the universe. And I lay awake at night looking in the sky, wondering, would another species consider us to be intelligent? Is our measure of intelligence so narrow, so restricted, so regressed that we don't even understand what true intelligence is? That's what keeps me awake at night. All the seconds that have passed in the 4.5 billion years that the Earth has been existing, we are here together in this room to share a little tiny bit of space time with our favorite cosmic storyteller, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Pluto has brethren, icy brethren. We will organize the displays of the solar system to group Pluto with its family members. That's all we did. We didn't say, you are now a dwarf planet. You are kicked from the pantheon of planet. We made no such declaration. All we did was group it in the display. Innovations in science and technology are the engines of tomorrow's economy. That is true anywhere in the world, and especially in this century. One of my favorite sentences ever spoken by anyone. Okay, are you ready? I have to science the shit out of this. <laughs> it was like, yes! What, you know what's really cool? There's a single microbe that is the ancestor to every single one of us. That's just kind of cool. I think biologists are, are lying to us when they like to celebrate what, they, what we all call biodiversity, when in fact at the end of the day behind closed doors, they must confess to one another that all of life is of one kind a kind that is coded by DNA. If you really want to understand life as it might manifest in the universe, you need more than one sample other than the one that's here. What if it had been a different museum as opposed to a planetarium? Do you think a different kind of science would have grabbed you? And... No. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think. <laughs> the universe, I think, ultimately chose me. I think I had no say in the matter. The discovery of alien life would be the greatest discovery in the history of science. I have no question, I don't think I'm biased in that. Mars may have been an oasis before Earth, put a pin in that fact. Add to that, the, sim the simulations we can now do, the models we can now run, that when an asteroid strikes a planet, the shock wave in the surrounding terrain can be so severe that it can flick rocks to escape velocity back into space. And if you are a fertile environment where there's life everywhere, such as here on Earth, then maybe you have stowaway microbes in the nooks and the crannies of these rocks. So maybe we are, in fact, descendants of life on Mars, which would make every human being have Martian ancestors. That would be an interesting fact but nowhere near as interesting as if life on Mars encoded its identity by some form of chemistry completely different from our own. And that way we would find another genesis. Quantum physics is the most successful theory of physics there ever was. Nothing that has ever been predicted by quantum physics has ever been shown to be wrong. It's scary accurate. 
It tells us that on the smallest scale, matter can pop in and out of existence, tunnel through barriers that would otherwise be impossible. A particle can disappear here and show up there instantaneously. Weird stuff happens at the quantum level. So you cannot walk up to a tenet of quantum physics and say, that doesn't make sense. Of course it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense because your senses were not honed on what goes on inside the atom. General relativity, the theory of the large, explaining the expansion of the universe, the curvature of space-time. All evidence shows that the universe was once as small as an atom. Failure is not something bad, that is expected. In fact, if you never fail, that is the surest sign that you are not on the frontier. So we have to have a different attitude towards failure. SpaceX launched a, launched a rocket, the rocket failed. They say, oh, what, what does this say for the future of private enterprise? I'm saying, wow, I bet they learned a lot on that launch, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you learn from failures. This is, you don't advance without it. So failure is a missing part of the culture of education. So is recognizing that science is a way of knowing more than it is a body of information. It, is, a, it, is, it is the establishment of a kind of brain wiring that allows you to know when someone else is full of shit. <laughs> Sorry, did I? <laughs> we find out that all life has DNA in common. More evidence that you are not separate and distinct from nature. That's the attitude that said we can dominate everything around us because we are human and they are not. You can have that attitude, go ahead. Go ahead, watch what happens. Watch what happens because you think you're separate from the system. You're not, you're in the system. The system is in you. We are all connected to each other biologically, to the earth chemically, and to the entire universe atomically. So to me, that's spiritual. But astrophysically, I imagined that its surface features would have been carved by objects that have fallen upon it. But it appears that Pluto's surface is more interesting than that. They're like ridges and sort of mountains and and other topographic features that you cannot blame on things that have fallen on it. Which means Pluto had some kind of active geology. What well, geo means Earth, so Plutology. And that will open up a whole other kind of discussion as to what the history of Pluto is or what might still be going on there today. Now, we're thinking about space. Oh, so we're done with Pluto. Well, Thank I'm, you. I'm done with Pluto. Okay. Yeah. Are you done with you? Yeah, I'm, I was done 10 years ago. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you keep bringing it up. What All do you right. want me to do?